Hi, this is Brother Barnes, and I want to do a specific heat problem with you. Hopefully, I can get through this rather quickly. I'm to my fourth or fifth take on this, and I'm nitpicking myself to death on this. The, the whole reason I do low-tech videos is to get down and dirty fast and not to be too picky, but all of the dweebs around, including myself, are kind of picky, so bear with me. Specific heat. The formula that we're going to use is Q is equal to MC delta T. Well, what, what is Q? Well, that is energy. Uh, and it can be in calories and it can be in joules. The question says how many calories have been absorbed when 25 grams of water is heated so that its temperature rises from 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Show your work. So... It would behoove us to use the specific heat that has calories in it so that it will easily cancel when we work when we work the problem. Plug it, chug it, and crank it. Let's list the data first. What is the mass of water? The mass is 25.0 grams. We already know the specific heat of water. One calorie is how much it takes to raise one gram of water, one degree Celsius the change of temperature the initial temperature is 20 isn't it initial temperature is 20.0 final is uh 25.0 degrees celsius so let's do that we're kind of running out of territory aren't we let's move this up just a little bit mites oh boy yeah, I was actually off the picture, wasn't I? I was off the chart. The final temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So let's plug into this equation and see what we come up with. We know that the mass is 25.0 grams. We know that the specific heat is one calorie per gram degree Celsius. We know that we can expand delta T. Uh, we can say TF minus TI. So why don't we do that? Let's say... 25 minus 20. Okay, let's rewrite it again. 25.0 grams multiplied by one calorie per gram degree Celsius multiplied by 5. 25 minus 20 is 5, isn't it? 5 degrees Celsius. This allows us to cancel grams degrees Celsius, we have the value of calorie for our final unit, which is going to make us so very happy. Let's get our calculators out, estudiantes, on and clear. 25.0 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 5, enter. And I got 125, oops, oops, calories. And let's circle that. So we know that Q is equal to 125 calories. So how many calories were absorbed so that the temperature rises in this mass of water? 125 calories. These are little calories. These are not the same calories like in a candy bar. In a candy bar, those are kilocalories. So we can talk about the significance of that later. Let's talk about one more thing. We'll talk about the rubric for just a sec. Circle your answer. Put your answer in the correct number of sig figs. One, two, three. Three non-zero digits, three significant figures. These all have three sig figs. These are zeros associated with a decimal trailing a whole number. They are significant, so we should have three sig figs in our answer. We have the correct answer. And we've listed our data, we've listed our formula, we've plugged it in, we've canceled like units. Yay! Holla!